My name is France Davis, F-R-A-N-C-E. I'm a pastor of the Calvary Baptist Church in Salt Lake City, Utah. I have a wife, three children, two grands and one on the way and one great grand. This congregation has been in Salt Lake City, downtown, since 1892. And I am a member of, as this congregation, the National Baptist Convention, USA Incorporated. In 1972, I was invited from UC Berkeley to come to the University of Utah as a teaching fellow and a graduate student, and came and taught at the university starting in 72, continued to teach at the university some 40 years later. A year after that, uh, the Calvary Church needed a pastor, and they invited me to fill in until they could find one, and I'm still filling in. Uh, to be a Baptist in Utah is to be uh, a real minority uh, in terms of numbers. There is a dominant religious group that uh, outnumber us by far, and so we are small in numbers. However, uh, that makes for a vibrant fellowship because those of us who are here tend to relate to each other uh, because we have similar beliefs on a more regular basis. The Calvary Baptist Church is uh, about a 900-member uh, uh, congregation. It is membership by people who are believers, and that is to say that uh, children are not counted unless they have decided that they believe. So we're about a 900, 950 people. However, uh, we have five other congregations that are similar to this here in the state of Utah. Bow your heads with a word of prayer. There's no particular age by which a person can say that they believe, but they need to be able to independently and personally say that they believe in Jesus Christ as their Savior and that they are willing to be baptized. And 24. I believe most people who live in Utah or have lived here for some time are fully aware that the Calvary Baptist Church is here. I don't know that they think about uh, the additional congregations that may be here, but we've been very, relatively visible and active in the community, and I've been uh, an uh, active person in community activities as well, serving on different boards, being a part of the university and the regents community, and because of that, I believe that people are fully aware that Calvary is here. Plus, we have uh, one of the most exciting choirs in the uh, entire area, and people like to hear the music the choir sings. Yeah. We come. I think we uh, have historically been received on a relatively negative, uh, in a negative way. That is to say that there were those who believe that we were uh, not uh, fit to be entitled to all of the rights of some other religious groups. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, I believe that the larger community sees us as an integral part of the community and that we are significant to be here. Uh, for example, uh, some years ago, we proposed to the state, uh, to the city rather, that we would move out of the city. And uh, they decided that they would do everything that they could to keep us from moving out of the city. So we're an important part of what Salt Lake City is and what Utah is. <laughs> There are two examples of the acceptance of this congregation uh, in the larger community. Number one, uh, the music department of our church <clears throat> is a active 
musical group that not only sings in religious events, but in cultural and political activities. And so we participated in conventions, we participated in universities and college uh, affairs. We've been a part of uh, the larger community. We've traveled all over the state, in fact, providing music and giving a cultural experience that involves both our religion and the ethnic group that is dominant, the African-American group. Uh, secondly, uh, I'm a part of a number of different boards, the Board of Regents, the uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau's Board, and as a result of that, uh, I, we get uh, wide acceptance and are invited to participate in uh, not just state events and local events, but also national and international conventions. Music is uh, in our congregations and in our faith group a central part. Music is medicine for the soul. Music allows people to come together on, in, a, in a oneness that conversation and questions uh, does not allow. And so music is very important. And so the styles of our music allow us then to be able to sing and everybody to be engaged in that singing. We use a call responsive style where one person leads, everybody else responds. Uh, our music is highly uh, charged emotionally, but it's also informative. And so we are talking about something important in the words, but we are singing with the whole body to allow us to be, then to be able to uh, commune and communicate with those that are there present. Because a feeling that says we are one. Calvary Baptist Church adds to the wider community a vibrance about religion, a faith that is active and everyday kind of faith as opposed to just a Sunday faith. And I believe it also adds a high level of energy and engagement. We believe that the tenets of our faith are not just to be believed, but to be practiced on everyday life. We are not just to learn about love, but we are to practice loving. We're not just to learn about giving, but we're to practice giving. For your son, Jesus Christ, there wouldn't be a reason to celebrate. Uh, what distinguishes the Calvary Baptist Church from other congregations in this valley is that we are an everyday uh, practicing faith group. Uh, we strive to help people to be all they can be. We strive to build community. We are interested in ensuring that education is available at every level. We want to be engaged in economic development and we are part of the political system. So uh, we are distinct in that we emphasize all of those. In other words, whatever causes people to hurt is what drives us to apply our Christian faith. Well, in terms of diet, uh, there's, there are no uh, major exclusions in terms of our faith. We do, however, encourage people to eat less of the foods that involve cholesterol or that affect high blood pressure or that would create uh, diabetes or, and even obesity. And so we recommend uh, moderation in terms of whatever the item is that you're eating. You can eat some shellfish, but don't try to eat them all. You can eat some pork, but don't try to eat it all. And you can eat anything that's available that God grows either in terms of animals or in plants. Aren't you glad we serve a God? Uh, I, 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 I don't think some of y'all understand. Aren't you glad we serve a God? Who never slumbers. The tenets of our faith uh, start with having one book, and that's the Bible. Secondly, we believe that there's one God, but that that one God is manifested as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, commonly known as the Trinity. Uh, we believe that uh, all men and women, boys and girls, are born without sin, and that they choose to sin, and then after they sin, they are separated from God that 
getting back to God is by reconciliation and that that reconciliation is possible through Jesus Christ as accepting him as our savior. There are two ordinances to our church. There's believer's baptism, where is one that says that they believe in Jesus and then are baptized. And then there's church membership, Lord's Supper, that one needs to be a member of a believing congregation in order to participate in the uh, broken body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And then lastly, uh, the last major tenet of our faith is that we believe that it ought to be practiced, not just believe. That you just have your way, Lord, that you was touching a miraculous and mighty way this morning. Because, Father God, there's some here that may not know you for the pardon of their sins. There's some here that may not understand, Father God. Heavenly Father, what we are doing here. But my On Sundays, uh, we have multiple services. We have one at 8, we have a second one at 9.30, a third one at 11, and sometimes one at 7 p.m. Uh, the uh, worship services uh, start with a call to worship. Following the call to worship is a time of devotion, uh, both of which are designed to bring people together and to cause people to start thinking about God as opposed to whatever else it was before they came. Uh, following that, we have a time that's a uh, time of prayer and music, and that's when we strive to meet the needs of the individuals. And then uh, the highlight of the service is always the sermon. The sermon is Bible-based, and it is a message that is designed to draw people closer to God, closer to one another, and to be able to function in the community. The last part of our Sunday worship service is the invitation where we encourage people to respond to whatever the message has been. Well, we believe that uh, our future is healthy, that we are here and here to stay, uh, that we have something to contribute, that we are part of this community as much as anybody else is, and that we're not going in a place. So we're here, uh, we've grown and we continue to grow and we think our uh, congregation is healthy. Good morning, Calvary. Good morning. Scripture this morning will be coming from Psalms 34. This congregation is a congregation that's open to all people. It is dominated by African Americans in terms of its style of worship, but it is open to any person who wants to be a part. And we believe that the message as well as the experience will cause people then to respond positively both to the religious faith and to the larger community. So we welcome you. Come on, put your hands together with us.